Hi, I'm Joyce Jackson for Laurel TV. Today we turn the community spotlight on Laurel resident Leona Brown, an Army veteran who sacrificed her professional tennis career in 2008 to serve her country in Afghanistan. Now she's working hard to work her way back up the ranks. It's a story of hope, determination, and dedication. Um, my motto is to never quit and dream big, so um, I'm, I'm dreaming real big right now. The never quit attitude is the foundation of Leona's dedication to her country and her two passions, running and tennis. She debuted on the ITF Pro Circuit in 2005 before serving in support of Operation Enduring Freedom three years later. By 2012, Leona had become an elite distance runner as well, completing 27 marathons in her attempt to qualify for the Boston Marathon. Still, she felt a pull to return to the courts. I've been playing sports since I was five years old. Most thought it was basketball, but I really got the tennis bug after my mom taught me how to play when I was 10. And so ever since then, it's just been basketball, tennis, basketball, tennis, running, tennis, running, tennis. And I just really now want to really focus on tennis. However, Leona's dreams were derailed in November of 2012 by a devastating knee injury while on active duty in South Carolina, a double meniscus tear in her right knee. Leona pushed through a year of grueling rehab just to be able to walk again and the doctor said she would never be able to play tennis or run like before. No more running, no more tennis, no nothing. Okay. For me, that was demoralizing and it was, it was stressful. Uh, I think I went through anger, then depression, and, and then everything else in between, but just through my good group of friends, uh, good group core people, um, my surgeon and my therapist, you know, I got back on the horse and started riding again. However, Leona's fate never allowed the soldier to accept that diagnosis. Doubt began to turn into triumph when Leona met Laurel resident Martin Novak on a local court. The height here gives you a shift because your legs are bent. It gives you potential shift forward without a leg has to come off the ground. My best friend, uh, she saw him and she's like, go talk to him, go talk to him. I was like, no, no, he's not going to talk to me. She's like, just go talk to him, Leona. And so uh, I don't think I wouldn't talk to him. I think my best friend went and called him over there and he asked me if I was a tennis junkie. And I said, yeah, he said, you look like one. Novak also happened to be a former college tennis coach and the director of tennis at Trump National Golf Club in Virginia. He saw Leona's potential and agreed to assist her in her quest to return to the pro circuit. Leona is a, is a very uh, exuberant person. Mm -hmm. She. It's a, she's an extrovert. To me, that's a good way to be as a tennis player because it's, it, you're, you're sort of hungry for things. You, you're curious. You, you're inquisitive. You are goal-oriented. All these things uh, I see in her. In the training sessions, uh, hardworking, you know, a great student of the game, does her homework, comes up with ideas. I'm probably playing better now than I did at Division One tennis. That says a lot because I was number one seed, but I'm, I'm probably better now since working with him than I was then. For one hour each Monday, he fine-tunes her strokes and talent and offers words of encouragement. It's an athlete in my mind. You, know, you learn how to cope with the pace and the spin. And uh, if I were to college, coach college again and she was that age, I would recruit her first day and second day and third day. <laughs> that would you have a passion for, you make time for it. And when you love